listening to KSC podcast. This is a short, crisp, concise, exam-oriented, edited editorial for civil services aspirants. In this podcast, we are going to talk about how does non-fungible token or NFT work. Source for the content is the Economic Times. A non-fungible token is basically a digital asset or can be called as a cryptographic asset having a unique identification code and metadata which differentiate it from a fungible token. As with cryptocurrencies, they cannot be traded or exchanged at equivalent values. The difference between fungible tokens and cryptos is that cryptos are exactly the same and therefore can be used for commercial transactions. As a result of tokenizing tangible assets, a more efficient method of buying, selling and trading them is developed as well as a reduction in fraud. Furthermore, NFTs can be used to represent individuals' rights to property and identities. So how does it work? NFTs work on blockchain technology. Each NFT has the potential of several different applications due to its distinctive construction. A digital asset management platform is an ideal vehicle for digitally representing physical assets such as real estate and artwork. In addition to removing intermediaries and connecting artists to audiences, NFTs can also serve as identity management platforms because they are built on blockchains. NFTs can remove intermediaries, make transactions more efficient and create new markets. Many crypto trading enthusiasts and art collectors use NFTs. Additionally, it can be used for digital content, gaming items, investment collateral and domain names. Quite a lot of celebrities such as Shawn Mendes, Jack Dorsey and Snoop Dogg have taken an interest in the NFT. In addition to releasing unique memories and artwork, they are issuing securitized NFTs. Since 2014, NFTs have been around, but now they are gaining popularity for a number of reasons. The main reason for the same is that crypto is fungible, which means that it can be traded or exchanged for another crypto. As NFT is easily created from digital objects, it includes both tangible and intangible items, which include music, tweets, GIFs, art, design objects. Evidently, Jack Dorsey, co-founder of Twitter, sold his first tweet as an NFT for more than $2.9 million. That's it for this podcast. Thank you so much for listening. To join KS Train the courses and to crack the ice exam, visit kstrainer.com. You can also get a PDF of this podcast on kstrainer.com. Thanks for listening.